like a war from the enemy That's what makes them scared of me Make my plans carefully, then execute them daringly They say I act recklessly, but that's why I'm effective See, you can't predict my tendencies, I offer no transparency Some people think I'm lost, others think I'll be a legend I'm never gonna stop till I'm one above second And my thoughts at the top of my mind Okay, you inside jobbers. I'm not entirely sure if that's what I'm going to call all of you, but you know what? Welcome to the home location anyway. And as y'all can tell by the title, we are about to watch Inside Job Season 1, Episode 1. I don't know why I was about to say Episode 2, but Season 1, Episode 1. And if this is your first time around here, normally we are not at the home location. We don't normally record here. Normally when I'm home, I am spending time with the family. So if you want to stick around, you're going to see me inside the back of a semi-truck the next time you're here. Or if you click on probably 99 out of 100 different reactions on this channel, you're going to see me on the, you know, in the back of a semi-truck. But you know what? Nonetheless, inside job, I did watch the first episode to Rick and Morty here and I was informed that <laughs> it is going to get far worse and worse and worse. I was expecting something way different than what I got with the first episode of Rick and Morty but I am ensured that it's going to be far worse and I want to bring something more adult to this channel but I don't want to bring adult humor to the point where it's just Oh my gosh, let's just see what we can get away with and how far we can go without, you know, I just, I want to bring something more mature that's decent. And I hear a lot of great things about Inside Job. Now, I know they're going to push a lot of buttons, but at the same time, I'm sure they're not going to push as many buttons as Rick and Morty with something I heard and I don't really want to repeat it but I heard about the oh gosh how can I say this and get past the YouTube censors um <laughs> I heard about something called an incest baby um I'm not sure what that's in reference to but I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna like that but you know what if I keep talking I am going to run out of voice so, <laughs> I did just take a Mucinex because I'm hoping that that'll do something with my allergies. I don't know if I got, you know, what I got going on here, but I got no other symptoms of anything else, so I'm not worried about anything else. So, all I know is allergies got stirred up with the weather doing this number here and it created pollen and all that good stuff. So I'm going to shut up about it and I'm going to go over here and push this play button on inside job and watch that with y'all. So that's what we're going to do. Three, two, one and play. Because in America, the government works for you. <laughs> I was about to say, no, they don't. Okay. I like that. What? Can you? Am I the only one who cares that the president is a robot? Wake up, sheeple! The evidence is the bitches got snipers trained on Gosh, your language, dude. Oh, crap. I love being right. They do have snipers on the roofs. Thank you! With an iron fist. I even programmed an iron fist. <laughs> Like a boss. All right, that's pretty good. Yeah, that is pretty good, huh? Okay, so we got some men in black type stuff happening right here, huh? Oh, I feel like that's a reference to Futurama with the um the frozen head. Granted, it was a Disney frozen head, but yeah. Whoa. <laughs> I'm Rand motherfucking Ridley, and I used to run this company. And soon Did you? I will be running it. Now, fucker! Okay. 
inside job. I wanted something a little more adult. Looks like that's what we're getting. The candidate that we backed in the last election won, but turned out to be too dumb to manipulate. But thanks to my <laughs> sick new invention, the deep state will find uh, suck my dick. <laughs> yes. Oh, you are so funny, I could just assassinate you. <laughs> no, really, I could do it. No. My fingers hovering over the button. Says, suck my dick a lot for a woman. <laughs> I take eye contact, I make tons of eye contact. Everyone remember to do time cards! Time cards! JR, am I still getting promoted? Yeah. I've worked my whole life. Come down, girl. I skipped great boxes into kids' cards. I see that blue horse right there. And this is it's like the Denver airport. I bet that's where this thing is located, too. It's underneath the Denver airport. I hope to make the whole world like this. The honor is mine. Actor James It's... <laughs> Let's say it's not the president. I invented selfies to trick the country into surveilling themselves. This is Glenn. It's a good idea. As you can tell. And proud of it. It's the first... We thought so, so honey, be careful. Wow. You've memorized a lot of dang cook routines. <laughs> Guilty. And I'm a <laughs> pedophile count. If you like drugs, I have <laughs> <laughs> Alright, look hot stuff. I know. Hey, I kinda like you, Mike. Will they won't they thing going? We don't. How unlikable am I? What's going on? It's nothing. I don't know. I kinda like her. I I have no problem with her. It's not a big we're fired for getting drunk and trying to blow up the sun. I was gonna cure skin cancer. These people don't respect genius. There's all oh my gosh. <laughs> if you don't get rid of full commercials and Aaron Sorkin dialogue. We fought damn hard to get where we are, but the American people can fight a lot damn harder. He's way too patriotic to revolt. <laughs> and Brent. Oh my gosh. I don't like bread either. I'm with her. God, this is not happening. Oh my gosh. That would be so terrible. Oh, hey Reagan. Great job today. He's overselling the harmless idiot thing. Okay, um, didn't old girl tell you she invented selfies so that people self surveillance? Ugh. Hey, there's a lot of Chris's. I am sensing at least two people in this room who are attracted to Brett right now. Wait, three. What? <laughs> it's just impressive. You're acting suspicious. He's a gawk and a jock. On his SATs, he filled in all the circles. A gawk? Okay, flash photography is really messing him up. <clears throat> Sir, your choice? That will keep American greatness in and foreign influence out. And anyone who tries to stop us will be considered an enemy. Hey, you know, that's not too far from a comic book series I was reading not long ago. And I can't remember the name of it now. Um, Undiscovered Country, that was it. That is a lot of running mascara. Oh, okay. So when the president robot was actually trying to recognize you, it couldn't recognize you. That's why. Good writing. Oh, and the comic book I was talking about didn't actually put a cube over America, but America was a very hostile place. Do I know you? You better. Georgetown, class of 02, Sigma Phi, right? Phi till I die, bro. That's what I thought. Oh, yeah, hey. That generic face of his really helps him out in this situation. I'm here to relieve you from duty, actually. You can take 15, bitch. Who wants a Jack and Coke? Oh, do you have diamonds? Wait. Wait, you rewrote your own code? How are you able to drink anything? You're a robot. Well, Bender drinks as well. Maybe it's fueling his fuel cells. Nationalism is just connecting him to the 
Facebook, yep. he'll lose his patriotism yep. buzzer. Oh, what he's going to do instead is go crazier. And it's now a Terminator situation. I suppose finding out the president is a robot was not in your training. I think I just caused the singularity. I don't know what that is. What do we do now? I don't do a lot of cardio. Well, Brett does. Okay. Y'all two might make a good team after all. Hello? <laughs> oh, you got the wrong person. He's on su the Super Molly stuff. Holy crap, yeah. But we get up whatever her orders are. We need mission. Hey. Well there y'all go. You're a two in one duo. He's got the people skills and you got the orders. You're cornered, robot. He's controlling the chopper with his mind. While he's kicking the shit out of me. Man, Reagan, your robot is so sick. You are too. Okay, I'm getting kind of sick of all the feedback on my personality today. <laughs> Wait, this is just like one in one or two days. Us. You're the charm. I get it now. I actually need a mediocre white man to act as a human shield. <laughs> really? Accomplish my real Wow. Okay. eye contact. It's a struggle. Hey Reagan, you coming? Thanks. I think that dolphin guy mixture. Holy crap, that's a lot of text you know messages. Let's drink some margaritas. You know. Obviously you didn't incinerate him like you were supposed to. Reagan. I'll be watching you, Reagan. Wait, so how are you Wait, what? Oh, we still got the janitor here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, that was better than I thought it was going to be. I had no idea what I was in for or anything like that. That was Tisha Campbell. I th isn't she from Martin back in the nineties? Oh my gosh. Um, and I feel like um, oh the dolphin um the dolphin and army guy mixture. <laughs> I feel like he's the voice he I think he's Joe DiMaggio um, I think that's who Bender is he he sounds a lot like Bender is pretty much what I'm getting at and really I should be actually paying attention to the end credits here just so I can see who some of the voices were because I recognize quite a bit of that um, but unfortunately we are now on the parts of the credits because it is Netflix that we're in the foreign credits and I have no idea what any of these things say. So what I'm about to, well, I was, I was about to end it right there. What am I doing? I didn't even talk about the episode. Um, <laughs> but nonetheless, yes, this was not what I was expecting. Um, I am wondering exactly where we're going from here. It gives me a lot of Rick and Morty vibes, but um, I don't know why it doesn't give me Rick and Morty vibes. It does, but it doesn't. Um, I'm hearing a ton of good things about this series, though. So that's one reason why I wanted to check out this first episode with everybody and figure out whether or not I want to keep watching it or what exactly that I got going on because, yeah, it's a short series. There's like 10 episodes, I think, and... I could easily have that knocked out. It's a lot like Centaur World where I can knock a lot of episodes out on everything and it's short, it's sweet, and to the point. And I'm presuming it's going to get a second season, but I just, I don't know. I'm wondering exactly where everything's going. Of course, I got a lot of Men in Black vibes. 
Um, we got aliens in this series. I kind of like Mike the little. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Mike isn't an alien. He's actually one of the mushroom people from the, you know, inside the hollow earth. So, yeah, we got a, pretty much every conspiracy theory ever. This is, oh my gosh, I'm just realizing this is literally one of the perfect shows for me. Granted, the language is like, oh my gosh, calm down a little. But, you know, I can overlook that. But this is literally the perfect show for me because outside of watching animation, I listen to a ton of conspiracy theories. I'm really into politics. And it's just now, of course, you know, a lot of conspiracy theories come from politics. So now we got Cognito Inc. And they're controlling everything. And... Throughout that episode, I looked at it one point with the blue horse that they had. I thought they were underneath the Denver airport, but I forgot that they already had an exterior building. And, yeah, that, I, I forgot completely about that. But that would have made more sense than anything to actually put Cognito Inc. underneath the Denver airport because there is so much to the Denver airport that it is ridiculous but perfect show for me wondering exactly where we're going to go with the whole you know Reagan and the robot president situation and I'm kind of wondering how the robot's able to watch Reagan and stuff like that but I mean I, what kind of cameras is it you know attached to for it to be able to watch her I don't know but I'm going to be done for now with this. I might record some more tomorrow. I have no idea. And yeah, I don't know what else to say about it, but it's definitely a series I want to keep watching and hopefully I can watch it with all of y'all. So hit that like, tickle to subscribe. Don't be texting and driving. And as Mr. Rogers always says. And I like you as you are. I do.